Well, hello there. It seems as though we're back for a Q&A. A Q&A that is long overdue, mind you, and I sincerely apologize for that because, well, stuff happens, life happens, and I kind of went on break for a month, which was, um, yeah, I'm not really in a position to talk about it right now. I mean, you might hear about it sometime later in the year, but, um, it'll eventually come out. Just give me some time. Anyways, welcome back to another Q&A. Um, we're celebrating 60,000 subscribers, even though we're currently at 73,000 subscribers, and I did promise that we do the 70k Q&A special at 75k, so I gotta grind another one of these out, but the plus side for you is that, well, you're getting two Q&As a little more frequently, even though you should have been owed one, like, two months ago. Anyway, um... Let's just not talk about it. Let's just go straight into the questions. But um, as per usual, uh, if you guys want to have your questions asked, um, well, you just got to respond to the video. But if you want to have them answered uh, more quickly in a prioritized fashion, be sure to follow me over on Twitter at Calby at Galpy Drums. I always mess that up using the hashtag Ask Galpy. Anyway, let's do it. By the way, I'm still in my room setup, as you can tell. So yeah. Purple purple snuff, which is better, thick thighs or tiggle biddies? Also, can you say I'm a sexy little baby? Well, I mean, you got one of those answered. And, um, the other one, I'll leave that up to interpretation. Jeremy asks, are you planning to do drum covers for J-pop slash J-rock songs aside from anime openings? Um, I mean, maybe. I mean, it depends on the song that I like. I mean, it all comes down to whether I like the song or not. So, um, yeah, you could see it in the future, but for now, I'll be sticking to this, the classic anime openings and endings. Uh, Magus Mode asks, is this going to be the only question on Twitter? No, it's not, clearly. Thanks, Magus. <laughs> Any plans on making official Galpy merch? Um, I don't know about that, to be honest. I mean, it feels sort of weird, and I never thought I'd get to the stage. I mean, sometimes I think you need to be, like, popular enough or, like, have X amount of subscribers to, to warrant... Or at least uh, enough of a following to warrant uh, selling merch, but I know I don't know. It's a it's an interesting idea. It's funnily enough, uh, about a month or two ago, a few friends and I were talking about theoretical merch designs for yours truly. So who knows? Maybe, maybe not. It just depends uh, on how things go out, how I feel, and uh, how creative I am. Because Lord knows I lack creativity, especially in clothing. Azua XP asks, Do you plan to keep on to keep up your drumming uh, after school? Well. I mean, I kind of am, and it's already after school, and uh, I know I was meant to grind out January and February in terms of drum covers, but like I said, life happens, but I will definitely be keeping up the channel throughout uh, my university life, so don't fret, Galpy's not going anywhere. Uh, Adidia asks, bro, how do you upload these drum covers without getting copyright struck on YouTube? Well, my friend, uh, it really depends on who licenses which cover, or who owns which license for which cover, song rather. Um, yeah, because I know some, uh, songs I could just file a dispute and they'll accept that. Other times, some, uh, record labels or licenses will allow for me to simply have the video up and they get all the revenue, which I'm completely fine with. All the revenue should go to their respective owners. Um, but yeah, the only time I really get annoyed is when, obviously, I get the copyright strike and when I get the, um, the, uh, the region blocks, because those obviously are pre uh, Pretty much limit where my video can be watched and obviously i want everyone to see my videos because you know it's nice just to have to maximize uh my audience as well as for everyone to just enjoy the drum covers but anyway that's gonna be it for not the q a the twitter questions don't worry i'm not going anywhere just yet and um yeah so as per usual oh i really got oh, okay so as per usual <laughs> i've just got a bit sidetracked there my um video got uh taken off the app all right let's get that back but anyway um be sure to comment down uh, your questions because they are always, always um, welcome here and, you know, I have a bit of fun with them, but uh, it really is humbling just to see um, all the, the questions and the amount of support that I get on these videos. Anyway, let's not go on any longer. I just realized I have Discord open. Let's turn that off. <laughs> just heard Dense and Mal talking. From Venom Gaming Guy, ooh, a bunch of questions here. What is your parents' attitude towards your YouTube career? Well. I know both my parents were very um, supportive of the YouTube career. Uh, I remember my mother uh, saw me streaming one time and she was uh, <laughs> thoroughly impressed to say the least. This was during our, our charity live streaming and um, 
yeah, I remember she compared me to like a live DJ, which is quite funny. But uh, my dad's quite supportive of it as well. In fact, when I mentioned to him that, oh, I haven't uploaded in a month, he's like, oh, dude, you gotta, you gotta upload. You're gonna lose your audience like that. And I'm like, dad, you get it. So it is quite humbling to, to have their support. Um, do you think about joining a band someday, uh, like releasing CDs and whatnot? I'm not sure. I mean, it definitely the idea is always there and it'd be pretty cool to be a part of a band, but... I'm always floating here and there. I mean, I feel like a drummer is quite a, um, even though I consider it quite a, an integral part to a band, it's kind of a, a band member that can be like strewn about just because it's quite malleable in the sense. But then again, you could have drummers that only play specific sort of genres. So, I mean, then again, I play pretty much every genre except like, well, jazz, obviously. And then, um, yeah, some, what do they call it? There's a word for it, but it's like sort of style, like Indian or African style or something like that. Can you tell us which story proves that Dentsu is filled with epicness? Well, look no- oh wow, this is actually really convenient. Look no further than this tweet of, um, yeah, Dentsu Mal getting me a pair of drumstick pens out of nowhere. He's... boy, he's, uh, yeah. <laughs> if he ever does anything in the YouTubes or the Twitches, I'm 100% gonna plug him every minute of every second. Every second of every minute. God damn it, that was supposed to be good. Uh, do you like fighting sports like boxing and MMA? Uh, no, wrestling isn't a sport. Ooh, shots fired to wrestling. Um, I mean, if it's on TV, I might just watch it, but really I don't pay attention to those types of sports. I mean, the really big ones, like the really big events, obviously everyone looks in for that, but um, yeah, I don't really keep up with those types of sports. And ultimate showdown, burgers or hot dogs? Burgers. Dan Kamima asks, again, how much- oh, this is again, whoops, I probably didn't answer it last time. How much money would you accept on stream to practice a cover and upload it to your channel? 70k isn't too far away. <laughs> About that. No, but I don't know if I'd accept cash midstream to learn a song, just because I'd feel sort of bogged down to kind of learn it, and if I didn't deliver, I'd feel really bad. But, um, surprise me. Because I really don't want to put down an amount and have you deliver because that would be... Once again, I feel really bad. I don't like taking money from people like that. Ben Trill says, You are a very inspirational drummer to beginner drummers like me. Oh, thanks, man. That means a lot. I really enjoy your work in merging drumming with anime. What is your favorite anime? Um, so, currently this season, um, I've actually started watching a little bit. Uh, obviously, keeping up with SAO, that's going to be, I mean, probably like a four-season like season. season. <laughs> for Alicization, so I currently say that, it's sort of cheap, because actually I'm quite enjoying it, surprisingly. Uh, but currently, uh, Kaguya-sama, Love is War, I'm absolutely adoring that. It is the most wholesome, most beautiful romance I've seen in quite a while, actually. It's really nice. Just completely wholesome. It reminds me of Takagi-san in terms of its wholesomeness, but like, it's got that little, like, Spice, just that conniving, cunning edge. I made Rem play Twister, ask, on a scale of 1 to 10, 13 being the highest, how much ocean is in the water? I'd say like 7, maybe 8. Green Dragon 4343 asks, what is the most enjoyable cover to practice and play? Um, I'd say uh, it always varies from season to season, but um, I mean, just recently I did upload the full size of Resistor from SAO Season 3, the opening, the second opening for that, and um, that one... I don't know, SAO, say what you will about SAO, but it's opening and ending themes are absolute fire. If you, Reflection Gaming asks, if you could only watch one anime for the rest of your life, which anime would you choose? Mate, it's obviously Origairu. How do you not know this by now? CHU Anime asks, congrats on your 60k subs. <laughs> That's gonna get me every time. Did you watch Bunny Girl Senpai? And if so, who was the best girl? My son or Futaba-san? <sighs> okay, so I always have this argument every now and then. And, uh, Futaba is just the best. Like, how can you not love Futaba? Okay, in all seriousness, I do love Futaba. Like, genuinely, I reckon she's the best. But, objectively, like, if we look at it from an analytical point of view, I'm pretty sure Sakuraji Mamai edges out. She is, like, way too good to Sakta. Coolness asks, Hey, Trent, congrats on 60k. By the time you upload this, it'll be probably be 70k. This is actually going to be an ongoing joke, eh, isn't it? What would you do if you had a million dollars? Um, I would not know. I'd probably, like, donate a bit of it to charity, because I don't know what I'll do with a million bucks, but, like, obviously buy a new drum set, because, you know, why not? Maybe get some cool upgrades, but definitely 
put it towards a good cause. I mean, I don't know if I'm going to need that much cash. Obviously, I could use some of it, but um, yeah, just really trying to make someone else's day. I mean, it sounds really weird because it's like, oh, you, you're only saying this because you're in front of a live audience. But genuinely, I would put it towards something good like that. Um, I mean, even just giving gifts to friends. Like, I, I try to be as selfless with it as possible um, just because it is quite a large sum of money and I don't think I'm that materialistic. Uh, Kakegurui, oh, interesting name. <laughs> good anime. Uh, asks, where do you get the backing tracks for all your drum covers? Uh, this is a common misconception that I actually get quite a few questions on. Um, I don't actually um, get a backing track. Uh, a lot of people think I also get rid of the drums in my tracks. I mask. I have to play accurately enough in my covers to mask over the original drum track. So, yeah, it's uh, sometimes a bit of work. Other times I can just mask over it with a bit of improvisation. But, yeah, for the most part, it's just the standard song and I'm just playing over it. Take you Chandra asks, if you have a gear and you can choose the power, what would the power what would the power will be? Oh, damn it, Take you. <laughs> if you have a gear and can choose the power, what would the power be? Um I guess you'll never know. When Dodo 53 asks, what famous artist would you have in your dream band? Example, vocalist, guitarist, bassist, etc. Um I wouldn't really know. If I took it from the perspective of this channel and like some of the artists that I cover, I would 100% want to have Maria from Garnadelia as the vocalist because, oh my goodness, I love her so much. Um, but yeah, sometimes even some of the YouTubers here, uh, like some of the vocals like are great. I know um, Oreo uh, here on YouTube does some amazing stuff. I know um, uh, Takara does some good stuff. I'm actually working with her on a little something as well. Uh, and a few other vocalists, uh, as well as uh, Momoki, she does good stuff. Uh, guitarist, there's always like, there's, I mean, Chaki P, everyone knows him. Uh, he's an, an amazing guitarist. Uh, there's a bunch of other things as well. Uh, some bassists, I believe, I mean, Emmanuel Bear, uh, Haruchin. It's just good stuff in the YouTube community. And I would oh, just imagine like an all star mashup of everyone. That'd be, that'd be my dream. Speaking of guitar, Benj. Benj Geronimo asks, can you play guitar? No, I can't, unfortunately. I mean, I always thought of it, and whenever I pick up a guitar, I just try to play Smoke in the Water as often as I can and piss everyone off. Um, but like, yeah, it's funny to do. Sen asks, what was your favorite anime of 2018, and what is your favorite anime of each season of 2018? Oh god, um, I don't really know. I mean, I could say... Um, Bunny Girl Senpai, that was definitely up there. I'd have to totally check because I really can't remember. That's not to say none of the shows were memorable, it's just like what was actually in 2018. I'm pretty sure Takagi-san was up there. Um, Kimi, Yagate Kimi Ninaru was up there. Harukana Receive was up there. Um, I mean, obviously Broken Hero was up there. Attack on Titan. Uh, I could probably go through my channel and probably look at the few covers that I did. Um, yeah, no, there's a lot of a lot of good shows, a lot of me mediocre shows, a lot of bad shows, but like, I think 2018 was a generally pretty good year for anime. Definitely. Hyonek asked, how are you academically? <laughs> well, funnily enough, I actually made a... I didn't make a video dedicated to it, but I did mention it in my, uh, my New Year's wrap-up in 2018 um, that I did... Uh, end up graduating in the top 15% of my state, so I guess you could sort of say, I mean, it's about an A. If I had to correlate my score with a letter, it'd be about an A. So, I guess I'm alright at academics. I don't know, I try to be as humble as I can, but objectively I am quite alright with academics. Jan Wilbert asks, do you think practicing drums without having a drum first will positively increase skill? Um, actually, that's not a bad, I, that's not a bad shout, just because, like, uh, Developing your technique is definitely important before actually touching the drum set, so I can definitely recommend that. Definitely. When will you live stream again? Leave me alone. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, I'll try and live stream a little more that I'm sort of back in the in the swing of things. Uh, when it comes to live streaming drums, it might be a little more difficult to do so, just because I am always getting annoyed at the lack of power in my streaming PC. But um, definitely over on at Twitch playing video games on this PC. Um, yeah, you'll probably get back into it. And that's gonna be it for this Q&A. 
that almost fell off the bed. But um, yeah, thank you all for your questions. Uh, we'll be doing another one sometime soon to celebrate 70k, of course. And I do apologize once again. I'm always apologizing in these damn Q&As of how late they are. However, your support does mean the world to me. And um, especially in the past month where I was gone, uh, some of you did uh, reach out to me. And I definitely did appreciate that. So don't think your support goes unloved because <sighs> you guys are like just the most amazing thing. That has happened to me in the past like a few years and I am I could couldn't be more grateful. So uh thank you all so much for your support. If you do uh if you didn't have your question answered, uh be sure to comment it down again in the YouTube comments. Uh or you could wait for the 70k uh announcement video where you can post it there. Alternatively, you can uh once again at me on Twitter using at Galpy Drums, using the hashtag AskGalp. But uh, anyway. That's going to be it for this Q&A session, so thank you all for watching, thank you all for your questions, and um, thank you all just for being here with me and uh, supporting what was just a hobby that's turned into a bit of a lifestyle, and uh, I couldn't ask for anything more. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.